about this is real motherfucking jacket for Say No Mo TV, baby. Say No Mo TV. Hold it. You know what I'm saying? You want to say no more, the best TV out here, you know what I'm saying? Tell them what it is. Best DVD, say no more, you know what I'm saying? Right? You know what? <laughs> say no more. <laughs>
you what you need and you gotta stain. Come and shout with me, I put you in the game. Grew up selling grams of the cocaine. 
open, tell it like it is, bleed, no sugar coating, dope smoking, blunt rolling, fucking with the hoes, nigga having money, diamonds, all the tightest clothes, me po, no, no pockets grow, fools balling, big lows, docking yak boats, I ain't stopping folks, B.O.S. locking low, one nation, grown man finna take control, Biggie Smalls, I'm a bad boy, deposit checks, double bad boy, Tolerance is zero like a ghetto boy uh, Gucci fit, Gucci watch, so icy boy yeah. I'm riding dirty diamonds up against the wood yeah. Rest in peace, Chad, nigga, I understood uh, And tell Michael Jackson that a nigga bad uh, Bad to the bone, yeah, bad, uh, bad, bad, bad. Three G sack, Glock on my waist, uh, running to the cars, choppers in the gangway. Chicos yeah, and Polo, Reebok classics, yeah. at 720 making plays, John Madden. Cat piss, cabbage, mo wet nectar, Don P and Hennessy yelling, boss players. Six point stars and seven fold, skull cap, read GD to the world. We can have some. The wildest shit I ever seen in Milwaukee was my nigga Kelly Chris came home and there was some niggas in his house, you know what I'm saying, and robbed him and killed him, you know, that's some real wild shit, cause at the same time, my man was one of the hottest promoters in Milwaukee. He was eating like a mud, too. You know, and he was selling out everything. He had all the ladies. You know what I'm saying? And he was a pure gentleman. He was one of the guys, you know what I'm saying, that would help you. You know what I'm saying? If you needed help. You know, if you wanted to do a free birthday party, if you needed a drink, he was the king of the nightlife. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that really, you know what I'm saying, took me by surprise that, you know, a man would climb through your window while you at work hustling, trying to get you some money. You know, there's still a motherfucking big screen TV or iPad, you know. And then last night, you know, my nigga, Mr. Freeman, you know what I'm saying? He come to his door, a motherfucker knock on his window, they shoot him in the head. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of wild shit that happened in Milwaukee, you know. I can go back to here or to there, you know what I'm saying? Because any motherfucker thing that happened in this town, I know about it. You know what I'm saying? Before it happened. You know what I'm saying? And a motherfucker gonna call me and let me know what it is because I'm the mayor for real. Mm. You know? Everybody ain't from the streets, man. And these streets ain't got no love for nobody. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of wild shit going on in this town. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know? Some wild, another, the wild, wild shit. BG come here. You know, get high, like you said on that <laughs> shit. They steal his chain. They got to call Pimp Snoopy to get it back. You know what I'm saying? And the street niggas, you know what I'm saying? You can't be green in the game. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to BG. I got a lot of love and respect for him, you know? But a lot of niggas come to this town to get snake because they think it's sweet. And it ain't sweet in this town, man. It's only sweet if you show love and give respect to everybody. I'm talking about from the smallest player to the biggest player. That's how you're going to win in this town. Other than that, you're going to lose it because they're going to think you're sweet. They're going to smile in your face and say, what's up, when you pull up. And then when you leave, they're going to say, fuck that nigga. And talk about you like a dog. So it's a lot of wild shit going on, you know. Damn. So, you know. Man, I be riding in the car with Puff and all them motherfuckers, man, and hanging out with Tony Draper and all them niggas, man. And, you know, when, you know, the bosses tell you you can't talk, so... All I do is look, listen, and learn. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to disrespect no motherfucker. If you, if you took me there and you give me some advice, I'm going to listen to you. That's why I can always come back around because I'm not trying to do no no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to listen. And then that way I can come back. You know what I'm saying? And when I come, I'm going to come by myself. Because at the same time, as when you deal with bosses, you can't bring nobody with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it is what it is. I got Cuckoo Cowley's first deal, you know what I'm saying, with Suave House. When he made in my projects, he was number one all over the country, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Hank made the beat. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Do It to Death, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? His son just got signed, you know what I'm saying? You know, to uh, 
uh, with Yo Gotti, you know what I'm saying? Wave so, Chappelle. Wave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? So so he doing his thing. He just got him a deal. You know what I'm saying? I just got the phone with Do It to Death when we was at the store. He said he all over the world. He printing up T-shirts and CDs and you know you know at the time back then Do It to Death was one of the hottest artists. You know what I'm saying in Milwaukee, Mr. Do It to Death, Infinite Recordings. You know and um, it's really a blessing. You know what I'm saying for his son. You know what I'm saying to do what he did. You know what I'm saying? And take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And then he give me yeah. shouts out and, 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 and love because he seen what we did. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, niggas like Ray Rizzy and, you know what I'm saying? And Spore Rodden and Loud Pack Larry. You know what I'm saying? Oh, these cool. niggas hot in these streets, man. Money Eyes. You know what I'm saying? He got the new CD, Me, Myself, and Money Eyes. Man, I know this Milwaukee shit like the back of my hand, man. I started this shit, man. The first nigga with billboards. You know what I'm saying? Posters, CDs, flyers, T-shirts. You know what I'm saying? This shit is 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 written, man. You know, I didn't go to no bullshit people. I went to Jive Records and, and, and CRC in Chicago. I'm paying $120 an hour. $200 for masters to record three songs. You know what I'm saying? You know. But the bottom of the line is... Niggas faking, man. You can't fake with this shit. I'm at Pen and Pistol, man. 96. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting real album covers. Man, when you do this shit, go back and look through the pictures and look at the parties on YouTube. Young Tweezy, man. You know? Selling out everything, man. I'm eating off this shit, man. I ain't got no motherfucking job, but I'm at the <laughs> bank, though. Shit. <laughs> and then I'm about to go to the studio over here and get some more money. You know? My big homie Tony Neal, he told me some real shit. I was at Ray Rizzy album release party at Questions, and he said, Rizzy, man, you know what I'm saying? You one of the hottest rap rap stars in the town. I said, don't go out every night and hang out with these motherfuckers every night. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to get too comfortable with you and get too cool with you and feel like they you or feel like, you know what I'm saying, your friends. So at the same time as you're going out every night is what I took from Tony Neal's conversation is, these motherfuckers ain't going to spend no money when it's time to do an event. So what the fuck am I going to go out every night and have a drink and smile in the motherfucking face for when it's time for me to sell something out? They're going to say I seen him yesterday. So you ain't going to see me unless I'm doing something. And that's why every time you come to, come to something I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker got to wait, you know what I'm saying? And a motherfucker got to pay that money to get in that motherfucker. Because at the same time, I'm Mr. Bring Him Out. And when you mention my motherfucking name, the whole city coming out. You know what I'm saying? So it, it ain't no doubt about this shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit for a long time, and like I said, I started this shit, and I'm gonna finish this shit. And I'm the king, and I wear the crown in this motherfucker, and every motherfucker know it. And, and and I'm humble, and I'm respectful to everybody. And like I said, all them rap stars, all them names that I name, I talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I got love for them. If they doing a show, yeah, I go see them, because I want to see what's hot. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see, you know what I'm saying, who I'm going to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Young Major. I'm about to pro produce a, a banger from for him. I talked to him today. You know what I'm saying? He just did a show last night at the 618 with K Camp. You know what I'm saying? He got Miss Perfect, you know, and a lot of other hits. You know, but I got a lot of love and respect for Young Major because he one of the hottest artists in the city also. You know what I'm saying? So I called my man Milwaukee Black in Atlanta. I said, man, I need a favor, man. My man need a hit, blessing. Mm. So it's coming and it's going to be on the love. Because at the same time is, in this game right now, you got to find a way to spend less to make more. You know, but then in the party shit, you got to spend a lot, you know what I'm saying, to get a lot. Because mm. at the same time, it's all about a show. You know what I'm saying? When you got a whole bunch of people here, you can't do the same shit that everybody else doing. Mm -mm. You know? Get played. Yeah, yeah. you ain't going to get played. You ain't going to get no play. The bottom of the line. You know, so when you listen to motherfuckers like 2 Chain, you say, be different. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to Bun B, you say, be different. I went around the world with A-Ball and MJG. I got songs with A-Ball and MJG. All right, I done hung out with Tupac, Biggie, all these people, Luke, all these motherfuckers, man, I know, personally. You know? No, I'm talking to them. What you say, baby? All right, good night. What you say? Good night. Did you give me that money? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did you get it? That's funny, huh? Let me see what you got in here. Bye. Thank you, baby. That's all hundred dollar bills. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Them big faces, man. This is brand new <laughs> bank money, man. This ain't no motherfucking hood shit, man.
This trap star shit, man. So Brand it, new money. So it goes to show you ain't gotta be in the streets to get it like that. Yeah, you gotta be in the streets to get it. <laughs> you shitting me. I've been in the streets all my motherfucking life, so all I know is the streets. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not selling no dope. I'm mm. not selling no weed. I'm not selling no cocaine. I'm doing t-shirts. I'm doing screen printing and embroidery. I'm hustling. I'm selling car batteries. I'm doing line service. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing graphics. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing some shit where I ain't gonna get in no trouble. I just want the cash. I ain't trying to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a wife. I'm trying to go home, man, to my woman. I'm not trying to be sitting in no motherfucking penitentiary paying no attorney. And if I do gotta pay, I got the best motherfucking attorneys in the town, so it ain't no <laughs> thing. It's gonna be not guilty, and the judge gonna stand up when I get there. Shout out to my nigga Dennis Corfe. He motherfucking Corfe. <laughs> But at the same time, it costs a lot of a lot of money to make a mistake, man. So at the same time, that's yeah. not what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to stay out here and, and, and do some positive shit, man. And uh, stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? And eat. That's it. Man, this is a rest in peace, um, man. Some real shit, man. Some shit out, you know. My nigga Ur made the beat, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I wrote a hook and a verse to it. Tweezy for to get on here. My nigga Mac Maker from Chicago gonna get on here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna politic like that, man. You know what I mean? For the streets. This nigga doing it major, man. No bullshit. He just got Drew on his shit, baby Drew. I'm he what? Got Cuckoo on his shit, and this nigga been rapping for shit six months. You shitting me? He was <laughs> way ahead of the game. <laughs> shitting me. <laughs> I like I'm Diddy. Want the money and the power, nigga. Bring my nigga cash for him, man.
What's happening, man? Say no more. Welcome to Cooperville Ghetto Gospel. Who we got here, man? What's happening? Man, you got the kid Maserati Polo, the infamous, the great man, you know what I'm saying? AKA Super Turk Mozzie, man. AKA Straight Drop Mozzie, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all my affiliates. Shout out H Town, Houston representative. You know what I mean? Always down for the crown. Shout out all my niggas, Rap a Lot Records. Shout out Mike Prince. Shout out Jay Prince, the CEO, Rap a Lot Records. Shout out my niggas all the way out in um, New York, man. Shout out Dipset, Jim Jones, Joel Santana, the affiliates. Shout out my nigga Bino, you know what I'm saying? All my niggas from Brooklyn. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? It's meal town, stand down, you know what I'm saying? We winning. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas losing. You know what I'm saying? We're <laughs> them cars and fucking them bras. You know what I'm saying? Living that lifestyle, man. Is that man, if you seen green light, man, you seen this car, man. You know, so niggas is really living that life, man. And this is three, four months after green light been released, man. You know, this ain't no shit we raw and give back, man. You know, niggas is really living that life, man. Let me show you niggas something, though. At nighttime, what happened, man? <laughs> When you riding 4 Gs, man, let me let you niggas right, know something, man. And uh, this exclusive paint, man. If y'all looking at this paint, y'all wondering what kind of paint this is. This is called Outrageous, man. 5 Gs, man. 5 Gs on the paint job, man. 5 Gs on the paint job, man. Okay, nice little mix, too. 24s, man. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, man. Hey, like I said, man, we living in life, man, you know. I found six plus, you know. That shit, man, you know. Man, like, I, I, I got a question for you, man. Good, man. What's happening, big baby? For them, for them, for the young, for the young cats out here, man, who 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 need some direction. What kind of advice, what kind of tips you got for them, man? How can you stay afloat in this motherfucking Milwaukee, man? I mean, my nigga, the best way to stay afloat, my nigga, anywhere you at, is associate yourself with number one. Is because if you hang around losers every day. You gonna fucking become a loser, my nigga. But mm. well, if you hang around 99 niggas getting money, uh -huh. you gonna be the hundred nigga getting money. <laughs> Sit around with them broke niggas all day, looking crusty and musty, and don't know what the fuck to do, nigga. You ain't gonna never have a goddamn clue. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Only way to make moves is to make moves, my nigga. That mean get up off your motherfucking ass and chase that bag, nigga. And if you ain't chasing that motherfucking bag, then nigga, you in the motherfucking last place, nigga. Damn, we coming for first place every time. Drop we gon' fuck them niggas up. Straight drop motherfucking records, nigga. No motherfucking game. No fake. No fugazi. It's real, nigga. And look out for that new single, Blackout, because that motherfucker finna change the game forever. You hear me? Say no more. God's guidance is vital. Babies belong being caught. And I, y'all, shorties, promised it to God. When I was was getting raised up. All the old schools, you say, man, hold your head up, be proud, stick your chest out. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then somewhere along the way, young guys got it all messed up. You know how? Oh. Now, that was when I was a teenager coming up, all the old dudes say, man, hold your head up, be proud to be a black man. Now, if you hold your head up and look at y'all, y'all be talking about, who you mugging? Mm -hmm. I went from holding my head up, now I don't even look at y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the ground, and I ain't looking for money. I'm l looking for a way to get away from your ass. Why is it like that now? Because y'all all fucked up. All, all, all y'all young guys, hate to see it, la look, lazy for one. Mm. And, and, and you can tell lazy because y'all pants hang down in here with a belt on. You ain't got time to pull your pants up and tighten it on up. Damn. I mean, it, it, that's... Ridiculous, this. That's how, this ain't the cowboy day. That's how y'all walk. Look, see? Now, if you had a real big winky, yeah, you supposed to sag. And see, I should be sagging, but, <laughs> but I ain't sagging. I got him tied up in my belt. You got to stand him up straight, hook him with your belt. That's why I keep my pants tight, see? Now, that's the real big one, yeah, boy. That's the two for one. <laughs> For real. But now listen, y'all the older generation, so why did y'all not tell us? Like, like, we, not? Look, we tried our best. Y'all started, all right, back then everything was peace and love. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up, we was hiring the motherfucker. That's why we forgot about fighting each other. Everybody was trying to get high together. <laughs> and it, it, it wasn't about... Your spot, my spot, everywhere you was at, that's the spot, light up. Now you can't go to this neighborhood, can't go to this. Y'all just ruined everything, and cause y'all all about the easy dollar. A bunch of lazy motherfuckers. That's what it is. Just, I mean, easy, easy come, easy go. They took discipline away. 
the government took, we can't even whoop y'all ass or y'all call the police. And did they come to DCF, everybody in your business? Back when I came up, shit, if it wasn't for webs and stitches, I'd be done fell apart. <laughs> Look, and then somewhere along the way, y'all found out we can't even whoop y'all. You could do whatever you want to do. You could cuss me out, and I'm your dad. If I whoop you, the police come out. I'm, if you got one whip, one scratch, I could go to jail for discipline my child. And then, see, on the other end of the spectrum, promise of God, that's why y'all end up in, in prison, penitentiary. Wow. So instead of disciplining y'all for free by your parents, they discipline y'all when y'all get to penitentiary where they have to, but they paid to discipline y'all, and we was going to do it for free. Seriously. Parents going to discipline their check kids for free so you, so you don't go to jail, so you do have rules, and, and you know, clean up your room, dude. You can say, Tom, clean up your room. Fuck you, Dad. Hold on. Now, he don't deserve a whooping. You do. And I'm going to jail. Now, I'm in jail. At my age, then when he get in his teenage age, he's going to jail, we might see each other. <laughs> he ain't get disciplined. That's right. So now he out here Through the door. Yep. He, he, he got a feeling he could do what he want to do. But the only problem is the police. The police. Mm -hmm. You can't spank, you can't do nothing because kids could call the police on their own parents. And some kids do. It's just a test. You have to pass it or you have to fail. Them the only two things you can do. They took away the test paper and yeah. said, you have to do it. To, no, like, tests have answers. Mm -hmm. How I'm going to do this or, or A, B, C, mm -hmm. whatever. Like your child do something real bad. Mm -hmm. A is spank him. B is uh, uh, send him to his room. C is now, OK, we had choices. They took the A choice away. So they might as well take the whole test away. How are you going to take away an answer and leave me with the test? Damn. That's my answer over here. Number eight, that answer's on. For real. Damn. They keep taking things away. And that was useful. Yes. On this side. Then on this side over here, it, everything over here worse because they took this away. And they pay when you get here. And we was doing the shit for free. We housed our kids for free. We whooped our kids when they messed up. Now, and we was doing that for free. Actually, we was paying to do it. Yeah, you had to work. Yeah. You had to do we it was paying to field. take care of our, they took that away. And now they're putting people in prison and paying their own self. I don't know who they are, but why? To me, that seems backwards. Now, y'all got to take care of them because y'all wouldn't let me. So, you know what? You can have them. See? That's why they keep going back. And that's all started because they took discipline out of it. That's, uh, what, I mean, the government say you can't spank your own child or your child can call the police. That's the same government that will house your child soon as they fuck up. And then you, me, all of us got to pay for your child being in there. Wow. When I could have took care of them right here. For free. For free. Y'all didn't have to give me nothing. Just the same people that'll kill your ass for doing something. I can't spank my daughter, but you could kill my son. That's the reason they took discipline out of the game. We can't raise y'all. We can't tell y'all nothing because y'all can say, fuck you. I mean, I wish I would have told a grown up when I was a shorty, said, fuck somebody. Oh my God, the whole town was going to whoop my motherfucking ass. Ass whooping by Miss Estes, Miss Johnson, people up the street down. The boy said, what? He said, fuck you. Oh! <laughs> Chicago though, no. No, no. <laughs> These the guys up here ain't, 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 ain't the same as Chicago. Chicago stand on certain things. Oh, like uh, up here, morals, like street morals. Yeah.
territory, territory, territory. Uh, uh, yes, up here you can get away with anything, anywhere except with the police, and they get you for nothing, for real. Every shit, a motherfucker with a gun, you better run. Only in Milwaukee, a stick up is no negotiations. You don't go. How, how you? Get, if I'm sticking you up, do you think you're gonna get my gun? See, and see, they up here fighting. And how you sticking somebody up and y'all fighting over my gun? That ain't a stick up. That's a fight. Mm. A stick up is no negotiations, none at all. And you gotta be willing to put one pop. And you know what? Most people stick up aren't. What you mean? They ain't willing to go all the way. They just doing it because they need it. They not a stick up man. It was an accident, then. <laughs> so they they fraudulent. Yeah, they not true sticks. A true stick up man is no negotiation. I, well, I don't know personally, but <laughs> 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 craziest thing I've seen in Milwaukee. Mm. Okay, how much time y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Duke get hit by a bus on Wisconsin when I was living downtown. Um, that w was probably the craziest thing. Hit by a bus? Yeah, stepped right out. Uh, yeah, we pulled over and uh, we all supposed to wait till the police came, but I got off the bus because mm. I didn't want to be involved because I wasn't all that legal back then. Mm. Two people died upstairs. I had to clean up about them. In 2015 or 4, 16 or something, I, that, that was a while ago. Hurricane Katrina people, that's when they died. And that's when I saw everybody living in Milwaukee up here saying there was some Hurricane Katrina <laughs> getting FEMA money. No, no. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I just saw you on 35th. Go on, get up out of here, dog. <laughs> Y'all don't think. Basically, y'all think about the right now. What about five minutes from now? You see, you know what you're doing right now. Five minutes from now, you ain't got no idea where, you, where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing. Damn. For real, that's what y'all think about the here and now. Y'all don't even think five minutes in, in, in advance. What, 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 what I'm going to do tomorrow, you know what you're going to do. Right now, go get a blunt. And now tomorrow you know you're going to get another one. That's all y'all know day to day. Y'all ain't got no other plans for the rest of y'all lives. I'm going to walk over to Jerome's house. We're going to grab us a couple blunts. Then, then what? We're going to smoke them. <laughs> See, that's it. They plan, right? Uh, okay, but what you going to be doing tomorrow? Um, going back over to Jerome's house, getting another blunt. Damn. Just every day. Make a plan to do get something done besides smoking a blunt. You can smoke a blunt and still get shit done. True. You been around, man. You seen a lot. You heard a lot. You know a lot. What 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 can you give the people? You know what I'm saying? Some some advice. You know what I'm saying? Some some wisdom. R E S P C T. If we do that through the door, no matter who you are, how you look, what you're doing, respect. It just respect. It's okay to speak in the morning. It's a, a, okay to look at you, I ain't mugging, I'm just looking because maybe I like your earring or <laughs> your hat, or, you know? <laughs> right now, older cats will walk around, don't even look at y'all because it might be a problem, yes. No, 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 they ain't, they ain't, they, they not scared for themselves, they're scared for y'all because we, we been there, done that, the stuff y'all trying to do, a. Uh, uh, but y'all going backwards about it. Y'all doing everything backwards. Y'all hating on each other. Y'all ain't getting together trying to do the doggone thing. Everybody hating on everybody. Bunch of haters. Shorties are a bunch of dog dunk haters. That's all. Just a bunch of haters. And it's okay to respect people. Uh, uh, kids on the bus. It's old people on the bus, young people. They on the bus, bitch. I'm kicking that bitch ass tomorrow when oh that's what I oh they cussing like <laughs> they cussing like that. 
<laughs> right in front of right in front of the little old lady sitting next to him. <laughs> Look, two old dudes and they, I'm serious. That's and true. they don't even care. Like they ain't doing nothing wrong. Fuck that bitch. Wait till I get home. I got something for her punk bitch ass on the bus. And the bus driver scared of y'all too, cause he won't even say nothing. When I was used to get on the bus, you cuss, beep, get the fuck off. That's what they done when I back in the, when I was a shorty. Everybody scared of y'all. For real. Y'all scared of each other. Young people. <laughs> Once you lose respect for everybody else, you ain't got nothing for yourself. Seriously. What up, man? We're in Milwaukee, 414. We got Say No More, How You Ride the DVD. Together. Now we are, hold on, we're waiting on somebody to be in the corner right now, too. But you can catch us anywhere in Milwaukee out here glazing for peace. You see, it's damn near about the rain. We don't even care. We still about to glaze the city till they come down. What toys we got out, man? Where the toys at? Oh, come on, come on. Come Say no more. <laughs> You buy y'all cars, you buy y'all cars, get all these niggas right here, we ain't lying to It's like a candy, candy shop with all these flavors. Do this shit for fun, man. Do this, what we doing it for what? This shit for fun, man. <laughs> right up. It's like a motherfucker, it's like fruities in this motherfucker. Yeah. What we got right here? Act. It's the act thing? Act thing. Act right. Get your act right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh wee! Sour apple. Green Bay Packer. The bro ham. Hollywood, talk to him. It's him right here. All right, here we go. Yeah. What's good, boss? What we got right here? Look. And he got it? Look. Oh, no, he didn't. That what they say? Goes up, get your what up? Get your hoes up. up, get your hoes up. up. Yeah. Boom, folks, still doing it. Boom, oh, folks, man. Welcome to Cooperville. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to yeah. Cooperville. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Cooperville. Right here. Okay. Big boy, real. Get it. Hey, that's the shit going on for real, you hear me? Oh. Two ways. They bisexual. They gay. They're going both yeah. ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they going both ways. They going both ways. They going both ways. They going both ways like these hoes out here. Get it. <laughs> got that red thing. What we got right here? Okay. Got the Black Panther. Wait till they see this motherfucker couple weeks, man. Outrageous everything on this motherfucker. You hearing? Outrageous. Fun, man. It's a toy, man. This my trap. I trap in this. You know what I'm saying? That's the trap thing. Trap thing. What we got right here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all see it? Hold on. Come here. Ace. That's an Ace. Them what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Them what? We got Ace, man. Look at them Ace. He right here. Say no more. What up, though? Say no more. Ace, man. You know how to do it, man. For real, man. Burn them, man. I'm south side all day. South side. We up in here, man. Welcome to Cooperville. Hey, let's let this let niggas know, man. Tell them what it is. Niggas hit me from my sixes earlier this year, man. I came back. Smack eights on them niggas, them niggas still out here riding little rims, man. Y'all see what y'all did? Y'all made them yeah. upgrade. Right, man. Hey, yeah. I don't want to turn the trunk on, though. Yeah. Don't turn I don't want to turn the trunk don't on. Don't turn the trunk on. Though. I'm going to fuck my fly off. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Right. What we got? Okay. Cool. Okay. Ooh. Ready for sale. D.U.B. sale. Y'all come get it. He for sale. Say no more. Okay. Got the Chevy on the H. The box thing. On the H. Box thing. Go around these windows. Say no more. Yeah. Welcome to Cooperville, man. Yeah. We round fruities out buddy. here. What you ride, no? What, what we got, buddy? Hey, Grandfather. Yeah. Y'all see it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a motherfucking peanut candy store. All these flavors. Yeah. I mean, goddamn. Y'all see that banana chiquita? Yeah. thing? Yeah. 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 Tell them where we at, man. What you riding in? 76 Regal. We in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, welcome to Cooperville. Yeah. You did. Say no more. Like the real. What we got right here? You did. Yeah. You did. You did. Got that great thing. Say hey. Say hey. Welcome to Cooperville. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Candy dripping off that bitch. Man, tell them, this ain't nothing, man. No more, man. You know, we do this shit from HBT all the way up to the trade. You hear me, though? You ain't know what I'm no saying? Big boy, Blazing for fun. Stendo. Hey, he Audi, too. He see me. Oh, my mama. He shoot me. He ready. He fuck, nigga. Nothing but exclusive shit. <laughs> nothing but exclusive shit. Nothing but exclusive shit. And he got it. And he got it. 
What the fuck is those? Yeah. What the fuck is these, man? The kid. They, you gonna need a motherfucking ladder to get up in here. here. What, what in that? Where we at? Getting wet. Oh, this you. <laughs> <laughs> And he got the IMAX, AMC. You know. <laughs> yeah. Y'all thought y'all was at Market Cinema, all these Keep TVs. Trying, we got another one coming. You gotta help me with this one. I'm doing another one in August, you know. You hear it? Damn. Say no more. Welcome to Kitty Bill. Pictures and tracking. Yeah. This flex shit nothing to a boss. Fair grandma shirt, this ain't Lacoste. Me and BC skirting off. Phone ring, that's a purple car. That's a pill car. Ring, ring, that's a seal car. Now it's time to take the seal off. I serve dog and I peel off. Downtown in the Marriott. Benny Hanna's my carry out. Play with me, get carried out. My phone slap like the Larry House. Me and Prince, he in corners, making LBT with that shit on us. Maddie Johnson, I'm sick on him. Dog good, put a mix on him. Couple bands all hun duns, niggas die young where I come from. Pockets on Woody Lump Lump. Fifteens make the trunk bump. Dame died, I'm plugged up. My Man, you know what I'm saying? Something niggas put together. Man. Yeah. You know, 31, you know what I'm saying? Something brand new. Out here. Where we at? Where we at? People say we in the mill town. You did. We represent on these 30. You did. We gonna give it to the nigga who created the truck. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying? Tony, man, you know what I'm saying? One more thing, you understand me, man? Lights, camera, jacking. What's happening, nigga, baby? My nigga, right here, we represent for my nigga Phil over here. On okay, Fort Phil. Capital. You know, he painted it. It's a, it's a, it's a paint job called Tequila. It's on 30s. Ooh. You already know the gorilla is banging out. Control. <laughs> you already know it. I'm gonna give you a little, give you a little sample. Give a little sample. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. 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 Yeah. Don't say no more TV, man. Where we at? Uh, we on goddamn. We on. We on fun a lot, and we getting it in like that. What's in your right hand? We do. Uh, just a big bottle of some other shit. <laughs> goddamn, we drinking this shit. It's, uh -huh. going down. it's going down. It's going down. You see that? You see that car right there? What's we that right there? We spending all motherfucking night, goddamn. We spending all night. <laughs> Stop. We going to sleep. <laughs> we wake up the next day. We gonna spin it again. <laughs> we gonna keep it in traffic. Say no more. I'll be right back. Say no more. Hey, you know I sent you, baby. Where we at, baby? What's happening? You know I sent you. Talk to him. Oh, man, we a cool cuss, man. You know this cool shit ass nigga don't ever want to pay a motherfucker right. You know what I'm saying? Think a motherfucker need to be here. You know what I'm saying? Nigga go out there and get that money by his motherfucker self. You ain't you know wrong. Tell him, yeah. what, tell him who you is, man. Yep, yeah, old school, baby. Ooh. Coldest nigga in Wisconsin. Ooh, cold at what? Everything. Everything. Everything I do. Everything. Washing cars, putting houses together. Uh huh. Uh, 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 fucking hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him oh, where yeah. we at, man. What's going down? Oh, man, shit. You know, it's a cold town in Milwaukee right now. You dig what I'm saying? The weather's trying to get right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna get back on that money trail. Right back on it? Right back on it. You ain't wrong. Yep, niggas gonna get back on that money trail. Hey man, tell them, tell them what's going on, man. Tell them, tell them if you can tell them one thing, good advice. What advice would you tell them? Oh man, don't don't take no uh, wooden nickels, dog. Don't accept no wooden nickels. Don't accept no wooden nickels, dog. If you can't get it, get the money in your hand, dog. The, the owl you on it, out the window, baby. Say no more. I'm waking up early in the morning and I'm thinking cash. I got schemes and dreams on my mind and thinking fast. The Rolex on my wrist, got yellow diamonds from the pyramids. Hieroglyphs say I'm the king, who you riding with? A million dollars ain't much, but it's a start, yo. I got dreams and schemes, blessings come from Diablo. I gotta be rich. See, if I fall off, I take your shit. But a ski mask, give me that though, I need it quick. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, up, man. <laughs> Say no more. This is Milwaukee on the today. Chilling, chilling with my people. Shit, shout out. 
most of them get the real hair be shot. Mm. That's what you got to remember. No weave in here. Put <laughs> that on the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Where we at, man? Oh yeah, we had cool cuts, man. Milwaukee on Fond du Lac. Everybody know you gotta drive past us. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's how we jack. You, you see us. We on Fond du Lac, huh? Right on the lac. Yeah, we on the lac. <laughs> Shit, man. Let me finish my break, baby. I know you gonna make it look good. Say no, hey man. Tell them what's happening, man. What you, yeah. what you what you do, man? Tell them what's your skills. You know, I'm crispy, Mr. Crispy, <laughs> A.K.A. Crispy. AKA crispy as hell. <laughs> AKA don't mess with shouties, don't cut kids. Mm. You, know? huh? you get a cut by me after five, it's gonna add five. You know how I go, everybody know. Mr. Milwaukee, say no more. Yeah, ain't nobody seen Mr. Milwaukee. I got the dreads and shit now. I see you twist it up. Oh, yeah, stay twisted up. You know what I'm saying? Mine don't look like nobody else's. You hear me? You ain't wrong. Right. Catch you in a minute. Oh yeah, for sure. You're gonna see me in the shop in a minute. Right now I'm outside. On I'm break. In, Cause I'm in Milwaukee, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> to say no more, huh? <laughs> yes, I finally get a chance to get on this motherfucker, huh? But uh as you see we right here behind the lap. That cool cuts, the infamous cool cuts, you understand? Exclusive cuts, you understand? Yeah! Exclusive top shelf diggers, you know what I mean? Up top barbers. Some of the best in the city, you know, we got plenty around in Milwaukee alone, you know. I think Milwaukee got some of the best barbers in the, in the United States, you gotta be the first one. What's an important fact you can tell them about business? Uh, consistency. Mm. Hard work, dedication, mm -hmm. drive, ain't nobody gonna pay you like you pay yourself, you know what I mean? Know your worth, you know what I'm saying? Don't never let nobody know your worth. And always put God before everything and you gonna be good. Talk to him, man. What's happening? Always in the building. Cool. Uh, he recorded. Cool the barber. C O O L T H A barber. You know I own this joint. I own this joint, man. You know, man, little metal, my guy. Man, and this school right there. School. I already have to know. The best car wash that you know. He got you clean with no soap. With no soap. What's going on, man? Tell man, y'all come up to the gas station and get a haircut, man. Yeah, and we do get more hair. Come up to the gas station. I, mean, I sell hairspray. I mean, uh, disinfectant. I mean, my granddaddy started this business a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, that's my name on the thing. <laughs> you know, y'all come and holler at me. Where we at? At Cool Cuts. At the hey. gas station across the street from Cool Town. You know, we known as the Barber Boys. Barber, Barber Boys in the building? Cheap haircuts are not good haircuts. Good haircuts are not good, man. What's happening? You know, I don't say much. I just cut, man. Uh, what, you, what you working with? Uh, you know me, man. They called me the cut creator. You know what I'm saying? My man came in and said he wanted to fix it. So I'm going to get him right. You hear me? Ooh. What's happening, man? Welcome to Cooperville, man. Y'all see what it is. Y'all see where we at, man. 
Yeah, man. Holla at the people's man. Holla at the meal, man. Yeah, kill me, man. Where we at, man? Oh, man. Kill time, man. This shit the finest up here. Tasty ice cream, man. Tasty twist. Tasty. Get us wings and shit. Hold on, they sell wings too? Hell yeah, wings, man. Ice cream. Ice cream. I heard they got the best ice cream out here. Better than cops. Better than everything, cops. man. Fuck Better than Culver's. Is it? What you say? Fuck <laughs> one nine, one time. One nine, one time. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 know about one nine. Say no more. Yeah, time, Welcome to Cooperville. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you one nine, two, one nine, you oh, see one it? nine, finest. Tally, Hold on, where is that? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me catch that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hold on, bring it in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and you know it is, yeah. Say no more. Welcome to Cooperville, man. Y'all see what it is. This yeah. shit is real. This shit is raw. This shit is exclusive. Y'all be okay. 100. Catch us later all night. Say no more. Yeah, man. Say no more, TV. We doing real talk, street talk. Where we at? We on 41st and, 41st and Keith. What's happening, boss? What's happening? Say no more. What's happening? Man, what's the word with you, man? Man, finna get ready to go to this photo shoot, man. Oh, you ain't wrong. Yeah, man, who is you, man? Tell, moves, tell the streets man. what's happening. It's JC out here, man. You see me? See me all glazed up, you know what I'm saying? You follow me on Twitter, Instagram, on the links. You know, I ain't gonna tell you everything. <laughs> what's, what's happening, man? You, what you got moving? Shit, man. I'm trying to go to the booth, man. Get some of this music out Go to the booth? The yeah, man. Oh, so you another rapper, huh? I ain't just another rapper. I'm the rapper. My name oh, okay. Is well, why are you the rapper? You know what I'm saying? Let me hear the something. Because I got bars, you feel me? Oh, you got bars like Water Street, huh? Bars like Water Street. We can drink all night. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, I said, I said, I've been thinking about the money all day. How to get it easier the hard way. It's JC, I'm ballin' like the Barclays, and I came up from nothing. You can call me Scarface, I had a dollar in my pocket, nothing in my wallet. Had to get a gig just so I could get a profit, Hey, Working all day and night, I was never stopping. Had a plan, get the paper and take off like a rocket. Now I'ma be the greatest like Ali, perfecting my game. I wish a nigga would try me, he gon' need an IV. Get the boy an ambulance, I'ma have him seeing white lights like a cameraman. Wearing cell pajamas, man, cause y'all niggas sleeping on me. Got you looking for your bitch because she freaking on me. Now you sleeping lonely, but I'm not. Guess who I got? She calling JC, but I ain't hear the phone ring. Hey, that's all I'ma give him, you know what I'm saying? That's all you gonna give him? Yeah. Yeah, man. Give him a little glimpse of what's coming next, you feel me? What's your name? Crystal. Where you coming from? Um, from the city. What you learn today? Huh? About Jesus. Tell me what you learned. Yeah, about Jesus. What you learn? He learned not to play on the streets. That's no. good. What's your name? Her name Tasman. Tasman? No, Tashmere. Tashmere? Tashmere. Cashmere? Yeah, oh, that's a slick name. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla? What you learned today? I learned about good and evil. Word? What's good? Good is God and evil. And then you take the picture of us What's, up, what's some good things that you do? And then you take the picture of us. Some good things that I do is I help, I help people that What happened to you? And I always treat them good. That's tight. What's some good things that you do, Cashmere? <laughs> she likes like going to the store. Straight up? What's your favorite thing to do? Uh, play. He likes to play with butterflies. Butterflies? You like butterflies too? I like to attach them in my house. For real? Mm-hmm. He tries to get a white one. A white one? What's some good things you do? And I like your shirt. I oh, appreciate with, it. I play with swings. Word? She said she play with the swing. swing. What y'all finna do today? Eat good. 
Be good? He said we should get some. Hey, he's going to be a Take little a picture of us now. smoke like my mom. <laughs> Hey, I want y'all to say, say no more on three, okay? What? One, say, say no more. Say, say no more. No, t-shirt. Say no more. Say no more. Y'all ready? Yes. One, two, three. No more. Hold on. Say, say no more. Say no more. You supposed to say, say no more. Hold on, watch this. Say no more. Say it. Say no more. All right, y'all ready? On three. No more. One, two, three. Say no more. Hey. But listen, here what I want to really say that I don't want to live like this. I'm tired of living like this. You know what I'm saying? They let us live a little bit good and make us think that we live in lives and really we live in really still in slavery, living in poverty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These little checks they giving us, the little leeway they giving us, that ain't nothing. I want people to wake up and realize that we are really still our slaves. We are not coming up. So don't think that we are, we shall overcome. We ain't overcame nothing, not a thing. So I want people to know that first of all. The gun law that they done passed is strictly for us niggas. Not the black folks now. Remember, there's two sections of us, niggas and black folks. They put that law out here, the kill, and they know it's only a handful of black folks because, you know, it ain't too many millionaires of black folks unless you're a ball player, a rapper. And they, I, I want to get on the rapper too while they think they got all the money they get. <laughs> Don't they know that they get tired of that? They're like, okay, we're going to let them make some millions, and then we're going to pop them out like we're doing pop and everybody else. But back to the, uh, no, hell, see, I talk so much I forgot what I was going to say. Let me see, what was I finna say though, Tans? I was talking about, uh, damn. Oh, yeah, about the baggy clothes, yeah. And so, just like, you know what? Now, let a white person go down the street, Puerto Rican, Chinese, all of them got on saggy jeans, and they, all of them is walking around with, with guns, bangers. You better believe me, right? But hold on, we don't want all this noise in the background. Leave the baby alone. But listen, so they get to walk down the street, but let and walk past white people all day long, all day long. Chinese, white, Puerto Rican, but let a nigga walk past with some baggy pants on. They walk past, pow! What happened? Oh, I felt threatened. Okay, now why did you feel threatened by me <laughs> and fourteen other different nationalities just walk past you and you didn't pop them off? But mm. as soon, but then again. Think about it. Let me think again. Can you blame them? We out here killing our own people, our own kind. So why the hell is you so worried and mad when the white man popped your ass off when you was on your way to kill a brother? Hmm. Talking about the white man taking all the money, damn Chinese can't be inside <laughs> selling hair and nails, and we done made them rich. Okay? The Arabians opening up all these stores, giving out, selling cats and mice and, and <laughs> horse meat, and we up there buying all the meat deals and shit. Try to do something for ourselves instead of killing each other. Just realize the Puerto Ricans, everybody, they got motherfucking Mexican restaurant. What do we have? We got one black owned business left, and that's on A Street. I don't understand why she's still there. I don't know. I don't know. God really got her covered. And then we out here popping each other off for a pair of tennis shoes that another black nigga done made. Mm. You know, you ain't even killing people for what white people or the Chinese people making. Y'all out here killing people for what the black people making. Jordan made Jordan. Blah, blah made this. Skippy made that. Dominique made that. But okay, for, but ain't nobody out here, you ain't hear nobody say, who killed you for that hair you was wearing? You know what I'm saying? So that lets you know the difference that we is making of ourselves. So don't talk about why we don't have nothing. Please stop saying, well, I went for a job interview and they didn't give it to me. Okay then, what did you have on when you went? Well, hell, I, I, when I went in there, I was fresh as a motherfucker. I had on some my J-bones. I had my Jordans on with some Nike drawers. Oh, you did, huh? No, not to mention the girls go to court today. I got raped. <laughs> what you have on, baby? Oh, well, hell, I walked in the barn. I had on a skirt up the hill, and I had on my bouge, and a nigga raped me. The judge said, what you have on, sweetheart? So I'm saying, and the girls, oh, ladies, please stop selling yourself for less. Mm. Please, stop it. You do not need a man that bad. A man smoke a blunt with you, and you done sold your soul. Jesus, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us. Don't you see what I'm getting to? That, uh, you know, niggas be riding down the street. They be like, baby, I got a blunt. 
<laughs> and then she gonna go jump in the car, not knowing A's out here, everything else out here, but the only thing she wanna think about is that blunt. Come back home, I'm high as hell with HIV, got a real, your check gone, your key is gone, ain't no telling what's that. That's why we lose so many kids too, because y'all go out in the street, a nigga be like, take me over your house, nine five or blunt. Next thing you know, you done moved a nigga in, you go to work, come back, this nigga done killed your kids. Stop this shit, please. You know what, that's what I'm going to school for, to be a counselor. And I'm praying that I can just get through to some of these kids to let them know that, hey, we don't have to kill, crush, kill, and destroy to have what we want to have. I see a whole lot of them down at MATC starting to go back to school. See, I'm proud of that generation. They tired of all this killing and all of this nonsense. You know, and it's, it's, it's really like a handful of us out here that's being the idiots and being the niggas. Because there's a lot of us waking up now like, what, 40 years? Do they know that every week they build a new prison? After a while, guess what? They're going to start having prison on the corner. Tell us they got corner stones. Mm. There's going to be a prison on 47th, a prison on 48th, <laughs> a prison on 50th. And you know what? We just going to step right on in there because we ain't got shit else to do. You know, why you kill him? Oh, well, hell, I ain't. My mama put me out. My uncle put me out. I ain't had nowhere to go. So I stepped on in the prison. Shit. Together, Niggas come together. Then they in jail want to fight and kill each other because they mad. Put some money on the phone for me, mom. Yeah. Shit, come see me. So, stay out of jail, I'm telling you. Stop this killing. Stop the violence, period. I made a shirt. I made a shirt that say stop the violence and put a stop sign on it. I be down. The man said, get it notarized. He told me how much it cost. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Then next night I know a bitch walking down through my shirt on. I said, damn. <laughs> now, see what I'm saying? I could have came up right there. So, when you do something, just make sure you get that shit notarized because they will snatch it right out of your hand. Who you talking about? The white people, okay? You know what make me happy? Making other people happy. Just Hello. telling my little jokes and the things that I do. If I can make my son and my daughter and my friends and my neighbors and stuff smile, that's what make me happy. That's what keep me alive. Nothing else, you know what I'm saying? My grandkids and all that. That's what keep me alive. That's what make me happy. And you know what that made me happy now in my age that I am now being 53? is that not worrying about what the world do and what people do and what people say. Like when somebody come to me now, guess what? Hey, did God say it? They were like, no, well, and if God didn't say it, don't come to me with it because I don't want to hear it. That's all I care about. That's my judge. That's the last one going to judge. Why they tell me they know God? Who made your heart beat? Who made this? Who made all that? Who made your heart? How your heart beat? How you, you know, how you breathing? Who made the sun? Ain't no one man done that. They want God to be black. Do you know if God was black where we would be? Shit, God would be like, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? You done, you shot somebody pow, nigga. Now, now, nigga, now, guess what? You know, oh, yeah, well, I was coming home from school one day, and I saw a guy down there laying on the streets dead. I was, like, in shock, like, what the hell? What? Yeah, I was coming home from school, and the nigga was laying there, and the body was now. I'm like, what is that? Is he dead? Scared the shit out of me, you know what I'm saying? He was using, he had been using drugs all night. So that's another one of them things. Stay away from them drugs, you never know where you end up laying at, for mm. real. You know, another thing, drugs in our community. Woo! It's kids four and five. And then they got the nerve to brag about it. I've been getting high since I was nine. Oh, well, motherfucker, by the time you 29, guess what? You would be laying head in a ditch, motherfucker. That's too young to start messing with anything. You know what I'm saying? I done lied around my house. I ain't going to, well, you know, like I said, I lied before, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I done told a few lies, you know, so just believe me, but I'm just saying, it ain't good. You know, remember, white people like, oh, my kid is an alcoholic. Stop keeping liquor in your damn house. You know the black people, we bring some liquor in our damn house, we drank that shit up the same night. I bet mm. our kid won't find no liquor in the morning. You go over there, how they got liquor cabinets. They were like, damn. Sue, <laughs> Sally, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Don't come in my room. You're not allowed in here. And then they be like, well, they blew up Lincoln Hills last night. Well, you should have let your mama in the room here. They was in there making a damn bun. Now, as far as the black person, mom, you're not allowed in my room. Boom. <laughs> Nigga, what? What you in here doing? Nothing, mom. Motherfucker, that a bomb. You better get that <laughs> shit up out of here. So remember that. Why y'all always talking about we not smart? Hmm. Mm. We a little bit smarter than y'all on that tip. Because you let one of our kids say we not allowed in the damn room. 
Or why is you laying on that couch looking like you've had something? And we got a fifth laying in there and a liquor cabinet. <laughs> and you go in there talking about, is you, you, honey, you look like you off something. Mom, get out of here right now. Okay, baby. And then when they get grown, talking about, on Dr. Field or whatever that other man is talking about, they got to go on rehab. Watch your kids. Mm. They be doing a whole lot. Of, so don't y'all be saying we not smart because y'all not y'all don't have some smarts either because at least we know when a kid one of our kids is doing something we might not always say something but we know believe that my kids wasn't able to get past with shit they could be walking past me with a pencil I said put that damn pencil down why mom because she might fall down and stab your damn self put it down so one thing we do we pay attention it's just that a lot of times we don't say nothing you know what I'm saying? I smoked some of this one night. They were like, where mom's at? I was in there laid out. I was like, damn, off of this? So <laughs> shit, I don't need no whole lot to get high. So kids, from now on, drop that motherfucking nickel bag and put some of this in your pipe. Ooh, some of that hookah. Some of that hookah. Some of that hookah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what brand this is, just like y'all don't know what brand of kush y'all be smoking. Niggas be like, this purple kush, this white kush. Okay then, well this is lemon who? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to put a name on like they be putting on that kush. So don't ask me what the name of this shit is. I'm just like y'all. I'm confused, but I'm going to smoke it anyway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. And half the time we were smoking weed, it was in bombing floor to tell you the truth. Because, hell, you feel like you were dead when you were so damn high. Yeah. So I'm telling you. So you don't know what you're smoking these day, but you're going to smoke it. So that's why I'm telling you. Switch from the kush and hit the hookah. Hit that hookah. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, my last words is, is, hey, I pray, I pray that one day we shall overcome. Like Martin Luther King said, what I hate about this situation is that Martin Luther King fought for our rights, fought for our freedom. Mm -hmm. Rosa Parks fought to sit on the front of that bus, and here we is out here, let them die for nothing out here killing each other, hating on each other, spitting on each other, while the white man is rising, and that's why they fought so we can be just as high up as the white man. See how I'm sweating? This how, I, this how niggas sweat, then they give us some high flash medicine that don't even work, but we think it works because it's a pill. You know, everything, everything is not about medicine or medication. We got it up in here. This is what God said, we don't need nothing. All we got to do is believe, believe that you're not sick. Believe mm. that you don't need. Believe that you got. Trust and believe. Trust and believe, that's all I got to say. Yep. Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> Truth to Captain, say no more. Yeah. Truth Lucky family said. first. Yes. Family first, say no family more. Family first, say no more. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Hey. 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 It's all about love. All about love. All about love. Family. All about love. family. That's all. That's all. Love. That's all you gotta do is just dance a little, smile a little, love a little. That's all. <laughs> For real. And remember, I was not a man. I was always a woman. That's just my voice. I am not a transvestite. I might hit like one, but I ain't, okay? Shit. And see, me myself, I ain't even had but one fight. I'm 53. I think I had two fights in my life. You know why? Because I'm not violent. That's why. This is what I'm about right here. See that smile? Tell them what it is. You this bitch, man. Y'all my niggas say no more. Say no more TV. Shout out to all my niggas, man. This the house where all the money was made, man. Real e shit, you know? We don't play with these boys. It's nothing to it, man. Oh, my bad. Say no more. Mm. Yeah, I'm healing some niggas, you know? Bum ass niggas, hating ass niggas shooting. Shot me in the leg. Shot the whole car up. Am I lying? How many was it like? It was It was like three mm. niggas. Two niggas owe me some money. Yeah, man, the bullets. When I catch them niggas, man, it's gonna be a rap for them boys, and I'm telling it's, you. It's no games, man. I ain't gonna play with them boys, man. Nickel no playing, bullshit. nigga. 40 Glocks, nigga. Oh, they go them motherfucking Good coppers, boy. nigga. Look at them boys. <laughs> See them boys. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's nothing, it's you know nothing to saying? a clip, man. Gotta keep an extra clip on me, nigga. Each side in this bitch, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, pee, man. Fuck no games. <laughs> what happened, man? Tell shit, me the they, story. Um, shit, they owe me some money and shit. And I guess one of the niggas gay and shit. I ain't trying to say who he did, uh, but he a famous nigga from Milwaukee and shit. What? But I guess the nigga tried to say he fucked my bitch, but he ain't even, I seen everything. The nigga was asking about me. Uh, you in love with that nigga Young Prince and shit. Man, only sweet gay ass niggas ask that. Just try to fuck the bitch. Shit, if you can fuck her, you can fuck her. That ain't my bitch, you can have her. 
But look, um, yeah, he told some nigga that owed me some money. Fuck my bitch, he came to me. Then shit, it went. Shit, nigga took sides. Show the nigga where I stayed. Lay my head. Got me. Shit. It's nothing though, he a hoe. You know? Where he hit you at? See, like, I ain't gonna show you about my dick almost. Then, like, like, I got three right here. But I'll show y'all when I got these hooping shorts and shit on. On another day, when I bring them <laughs> racks out, you know, this is trapping season right here. Man, where we you at, know? man? We on Friday Street, Friday and Monarchy. Get the address <laughs> on this bitch. Fuck it. This is where the money really made at. No bullshit. This the hood for real. No bullshit. Man, for those people, you know what I'm saying, who, who don't know Prince, man, let tell them who Prince is, man. Tell them I how, be, you know, how you came up, man. I came how, up, how I started, I used to be a worker 2009, I ain't even gonna lie. But, um, for the Puerto Ricans on the east side and shit. You know, the, the nigga snitched on Easy. Easy gave me some big bands. Stop fucking with them niggas. So I don't get jammed. But shit, I got jammed right now. I'm finna go do a little time. You know, it's nothing. Coming home, balling. Like it ain't shit. You'll see another day, I'm finna bring out them racks. 30 bands are better. No bullshit. Got that shit tatted on me, nigga. East side, man. For real, for real nigga. For the you love know. of money. You know, yeah. for the love of money, nigga. You do anything for the love of money, man. For real, dog. No bullshit. For real shit. Serve your own uncle. You your know, own people. Your own people. You have to. Whatever you gotta yeah. do to eat. Like, whatever drug. You don't have to. Shit, if you don't give it to them, they gonna go get it from somebody else. Mm. They want Put it, it like they that. Want it. You know, just speaking real shit. It's cold as a bitch out here. I'm gonna put my coat on. How uh, how, how is it, man, coming up in Milwaukee, man? Like it's rough. Shit, it, I ain't mean, it. Shit, it, Chicago, Chicago rough. But this shit kind of rough, bro. I've been in Chicago, but it it's rough there. But it ain't this shit. This shit is sweet. Just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's rough. Like they say, uh, shit, Milwaukee just made top ten. No bullshit. Top 10 worst cities, you know what I'm saying, as far as violence, as far as shit, all that shit, everything. No bullshit. But you know what I'm saying, yeah, we, niggas maintaining. Trying to live. Niggas surviving. As you can see. Only you can do <laughs> shit. It's easy to kill to be killed, man. No bullshit. My mama, bro. Killed, my mama said. Get ball done, mm -hmm. nigga. I'd rather get caught with that pipe than get caught slipping. I'd rather be in jail than, than be dead. No bullshit. Any day. Damn. Swear to God. That's real life shit. And fuck all you bum ass niggas and the niggas that shot me. That nigga stay right here. <laughs> Swear to God, that's why I'm on his block. <laughs> fuck the pussy ass nigga. That shit, real shit for say no more TV. This shit global, worldwide nigga. No bullshit. <laughs> Swear Shout to God. Shout out to the real niggas, man. Shout out to the real niggas. Real, real niggas do niggas. it. Real shooters. Mm. Real flexors and finessers. We on Friday and Monarchy. Where they all started. Shout out to Third and Keith, man. No bullshit. Shout out to my nigga Eastwood over there, man. Yeah. That's how you do it, dog. Oh, what, boy? These niggas don't live that life. I take niggas out that shit. Sweet ass nigga. Well, I sell dope right now and I can rob the dope, man. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'd rather rob the dope, man, while I'm fighting my case to sell drugs. Bro, I'm what? Yeah, yeah. Bro, what's, what's, what's some of the craziest shit you been seeing on the East? No bullshit, bro. I see my cousin get killed, bro. On this house. I'm finna show you. Come on. In the house, nigga. You gonna see the bullet holes. You gonna see him watch. Right here, this is my cousin was killed, bro. Right here. Upstairs, you go up the door. The gun shells right here. Start from right there. Huh? Mm -hmm. It keep going though up here. Look. Up there and shit, you know. You can zoom in and see that shit. Yeah. That shit crazy. Then they run up in the crib. This is a deep one right here. You know, but that's how I get down over here. Ain't no more TV. It's my mama crib. Come on, man. Get in this cold as a bitch. You be tripping out of reach. So, come on. Look. Hey, this is my cousin. He just passed away and shit. Of cancer and shit. You know, for real. 
that's his dad and shit. Some real life shit. You know, show him, show him, cuz, show him your tat. For real. That's my cousin that passed away, you know. But I'm gonna show y'all this, this, this track, you know. Some exclusive shit, say no more. What's his name? His name Jason. Here, talk, Ant. His name Jay. That's Ant, you know. Shit crazy. Real life shit. Hey, Prince. What up? If you can go back to yourself when you was younger. What was I doing? What would you tell yourself? What would I change? What would you tell yourself if you could go back to yourself? From your the shit I'm doing now? Yeah, are like you from now? Let me see, go back to when you was 11. What would you tell your 11 year old Prince of? Shit, I don't, real shit, I don't even think I'd be living like this when I was young. Real shit, shit, I don't even know such a thing. It's just crazy how life is, how it works. That's true. Cause bro, my nigga wasn't even, on his 18th birthday, bro, he got shot in his face, bro. And I was 11 years old. Swear to God. That's when I knew life was real, and it was his own best friend that did it. I'm waiting for my mama shit to tell you, my nigga James Skinner, swear to God. His own best friend? Own best friend shot him in the face on his birthday. Swear to God. That's when I know the streets was real. I dropped out of high school. My mama was sick. Started selling drugs. Shit ain't been right since then. Then my cousin passed away. Then my mama got even more sick. My sister got sick. My brother's sick, really sick. With cancers and shit. So shit, I'm just trying to live life and shit. You know? Be strong. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Say no more. Bang bang. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Villa. From the mill town, boy, I grew up on Villa. That's why I won't stop. This is Say No More TV. Say No More exclusive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anytime I'm in front of this camera, I got somebody exclusive. You understand me? Matter of fact, tell them who you is. Man, what's good, man? It's your boy Wade Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to 414, man. I'm ripping that CMG too, man. What's up? Man, did you hear the man say CMG? You know who CMG is, man. Who is CMG? That's the big homie Gotti, man. Salute to the big homie too, man. Yo, Gotti. What's up? I am, you understand me? From Milwaukee to Memphis. Listen, man. Yeah. First of all, it's an honor, man. Uh, no doubt, man. You know what? Congratulations. Man, man. thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. that deal, man. Oh, uh, yeah, no doubt. Big but you know what? You know what I'm saying? Where where did it all start? Uh, man, as far as music goes. As far as music goes. Music goes, man, it started right in, man, 60, 60th in Hampton. 60th in Hampton, you know what I'm saying? I was, uh, it was my eighth grade year. I was in my grandma's basement. It was me and my cousin, man. And I just, I told him, I, I'm like, yo, man, I can really rap. And you know what I'm saying? He already had, uh, it was my, my homie Sellis, he's older than me. He go by Cherub, you know what I'm saying? He was at high school of the arts. He could rap, you know what I'm saying? But nobody really knew I could rap. I was always the youngest around. So once I spit my first, you know what I'm saying, flow over a beat or whatever, they were like, okay. And that's how I really started, man. I really just got into it and I started freestyling cats on the east side all the time. And I kind of built up my name here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, my pops, like, kind of was always in my ear. Like, okay. even though he wasn't there, he was always in my ear, like, man, come down here. I got opportunities for you. And, you know what I'm saying? Sure enough, once I left, like, just made it happen. What is Way Chappelle? Way Chappelle is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Way Chappelle is Milwaukee. Way Chappelle is new rap. Way Chappelle is authentic. You know what I'm saying? I do all my music is authentic. I represent Milwaukee to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? I do realize that I am one of the, you know what I'm saying, one of the first uh, Milwaukee artists with a national recording deal since Cuckoo Cow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we gotta say that again. I don't think y'all heard that. I said I am the first. The first Milwaukee artist with a national recording deal since Cooper Cow. So, with that being said, I, I like to label myself as representing Milwaukee, like the face, you know what I'm saying? Because just to put it on that, I mean, and shout out to K Camp too, because he's from the soil as well, you know what I'm saying? He ran, so, shout out to him too. But yeah, we both, it's all about repping the city, man, for me, and also being authentic. So, I like to label myself authentic too, because I don't lie in my music. What kind of advice? You know what I'm saying? You got for those cats out there in some the pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or with, the, with that thing going on, they're yeah. ready to get down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What, what kind of advice can you tell me? I mean, first, let me say this like, you know what I'm saying? All of my homies, I was that, I was around that. You okay. know what I'm saying? And luckily enough, I was, I was so into music that I didn't get sucked into it. But I was literally right there. 
I was right in it. So, you know what I'm saying? To see, and I seen my homies go through that. Like, a lot of, a few of my homies are like, them, you know what I'm saying, for moving like that. Or some of my homies got out of it. You did? Uh, like, you're lucky enough to get out of it. But my advice to people like that, man, is just, you know what I'm saying? Look at your options, man. It's, it's way more options. If you are moving in the pack, find ways to invest in something else so you can get out of that. If that's what you gotta do, do what you gotta do. But be able to invest, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Invest, invest, invest. And look at your options around you, and man. Just just find ways to get out of that environment. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I know it's hard. Because I'm from that environment. I know it's hard to get out of it, but you know what I'm saying? There are ways out of it. There are different doors. So definitely you know keep your head straight. For the world watching, where can we contact you? How can we get um, in reach with you, man? Twitter, Instagram, B L M N Wave. One more time. Twitter, Instagram, B L M N Wave. And um, once you follow me on, you can go to my SoundCloud, um, WaveChappelle.com. And the music is on live mixtapes. It'll all make sense soon. Posted by DJ Rockstar. Say no more, man. Yeah. Listen, man, this is Say No More TV. You understand? Know say no more, no more say. Get it did. We're gonna do it again. 100 Wave Chappelle. Let's get it. Four on four. Let's do it. It's on my bro, rest in peace to take good up. We gon' miss you, my bro. Cali Chris was a real one, no disrespect to us. A nigga will buy you something nice, it ain't gonna be on Instagram the next day. You ain't gonna act like you ain't used to having some shit, right? All my real bitches who know how to keep it like this when you fucking with a real nigga like you want. Real nigga supposed to take care of you, though, right? Grab my shit, man. I love y'all, Bell Town. I love y'all. 
Finesse and had to play it raw. True. Smoking weed, dodging feds, cause my head hard. Damn. When I dropped out, I said, fuck all of y'all. Imagine yeah. pulling up to your school in the best Scratch, car. Yeah. I, I was born in 94, I got hey. the tattoo. Hey. Hey. I just took his bitch, that's what that cash do. Man. If you went from broke to rich, quick, you would brag too. I'm sorry, I finesse you. Two, 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 two. Started out with nothing, I was hungry. Niggas bitches on me Mr. Marcus. Mr.